It's The Cube, coming to you from San Jose, California. Here's your host, Jeff Trick. Hi, Jeff Rick here. We're on the ground at the Fairmont Hotel in Silicon Valley, the heart of Silicon Valley in downtown San Jose, uh, at the Silicon Valley Business Journal Corporate Philanthropy Awards. It's a great event. They're honoring 50 companies tonight for their contributions back to the community, uh, both in money and volunteer hours. And it's also an opportunity for some of the nonprofits to come out uh, and showcase what they're up to. But there's a, there's a very special thing at the end of the night, and we got some inside, inside baseball. They're going to give out a special award, the Community Impact Award. And as we heard earlier, it's for people doing really innovative things. And I'm really happy here to be joined by, it's going to be the award winner, top secret, Rick Sutton from Plus3. Hi, Rick. Hey, how you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great. So talk a little bit about, we had uh, the editor on earlier of, of Silicon Valley Business Journal, and we asked him about the awards, and he said it's really for kind of interesting, innovative, new ways of, of tackling some of these issues. So tell us about what you guys are up to at Plus3. Well, we're, we're linking philanthropy with uh, community health and employee health and wellness programs. And how it works is companies put up a charitable grant, and as their employees or the public members they're supporting log into our network, do healthy things through the day. Each one of those activities actually moves money to charity while that individual is also earning a reward for themselves. Okay, so, so go through that one more time. There's three things you're tying together. Wellness. Wellness. Corporate philanthropy. Yes. And what was the third one? Well, I would say the people that need to get healthier. And the people that need to get healthier, which <laughs> yeah. kind of ties back to wellness. So yes. it's, it's an interesting model. We've talked a little bit before off air that no one's really approached it. And I wonder if you could share some of, of, of why it works, how it works, and, and some of the feedback from people that get involved where other programs potentially didn't work so well. Yeah, well, most of the, if not all of the existing programs rely heavily on just rewarding you for getting healthier, either with a payroll deduct, uh, you know, uh, bonus or a deduction in your copay, or a gift or a gift card or whatever. So they look at paying you. Well, it turns out that in any community, there are people that would actually see their hard efforts go to benefit others rather than themselves. And so we Is it because they're already healthy or it's well, just a better motivator? Yeah, they're, more, they're more motivated to do things for others than getting 20 bucks in their pocket. Okay, well, that's good. You know, some people want the 20 bucks. Right? Other people would rather see the 20 bucks go to charity. Okay, okay. So when you combine those two, there's something in there for everyone. Those that would rather have the 20 bucks, get it. And those that would rather see the 20 bucks go to charity, that's what we do. So the net net is the they do a better job in their own kind of wellness and, and health and well-being, which then benefits the company because they're not paying the high insurance and people are getting sick and sick days. And then, oh, by the way, here's a little bonus. You're actually helping the community and some of these other charities. Yeah, and, and they, they feel better about their employer because their employer is sponsoring them. So we've all been part of the you know, matching donation where you write a check and your employer will also write a check of equal amount to a charity. Well, what if you just got about getting healthier, losing a couple of pounds, walking every day, and that was your donation, that was your sweat equity, and your employer would match that with a donation to the charity. And then do you broker the connection between the charities and the corporations as well, or do you intersect into some of their existing programs that they have that they're already working with United Way? or? Yeah, you, it, nine times out of ten, we kind of dovetail into their current giving strategy, so it locks and loads with the other things they do all year long. Okay. But there are occasions where we work with companies that are just getting started in in social responsibility and they'll ask us for recommendations and so we have we have a long list of charities that want to be in the program so we do try to match those with uh, corporate donors okay and then what about the whole like Fitbit craze and we've got apps on our on our uh, phones that tell us how many steps we do and does that tie in any way, or how do you how do you yeah, work in that you way? know, our app, you know, our system talks to Fitbit. It talks to us. They get along really nice. They go out for drinks every once in a while. Yeah, we do Garmin devices. Okay. We've got our own uh, free mobile apps for Android and, and iPhone. So we're pretty much, if, if you want to have fitness in your pocket or on your wrist and not have to worry about visiting our website, you can do that and it all it all comes together. Okay, so you're integrating, it's the API economy, you're, you're leveraging all these other oh, kind of yeah. trends in the oh, wellness yeah. industry. It's, it's, a, it's a healthy technology stew is what we do. So, so you, went, you won the award. What's it mean to win the award? How did that come about? And um, 
you know, is this just something so unique no one's ever done it? How long have you guys been around? Give us a little background on the company and, and where you are. Well, the idea started in, in, you know, really on a whiteboard in late 2007. 2007? So you've been at it for a while. Oh, yeah. I was 20 when I started. (laughs) You had hair. No, I had hair. (laughs) And and, and so, uh, no, we started playing around because, you know, it's sort of a complicated behavioral matrix we're putting together. And really, in, in 2010, we began to introduce the wellness programs to employers. And we've moved a little over $1.1 million to over 60 charities. Um, We have uh, members logging in from all over the world. And it's a very significant award because really an activity on our network is only worth a dime or 25 cents or maybe a buck. So to actually make community impact, we must be actually getting people to participate at a very deep and thoughtful level or we wouldn't be moving enough money to make a difference. All so, right. That's a great yeah. story. And it's, it, 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 it takes a lot of nickels and dimes and quarters to add up to millions of dollars. Yeah, you might, you know, I hope I don't get like busted by the March of Dimes, but we're kind of a technology version of the March of Dimes. That's right. Well, they used to have the walkathon. You know, it was 20 miles yeah. back in the day. We all had sore feet, I remember. But um, So that's great. So I give you the last word. If people want to get involved, they want to learn more about the, uh, the company, the technology, where do they go? Plus3.com, P-L-U-S, the number three, com. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the award. Thank you. I'm Jeff Frick. Again, we're on the ground here at the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose at the uh, Silicon Valley Business Journal Corporate Philanthropy Awards.